I've logged out from the portal um, because it's not necessary to, to have this access at the moment. However, the session that we, uh, we've launched is still ongoing in the background. Here it is, the same session that we opened. And now, uh, as an administrator, you would like to check what's going on with the sessions that are going, right? It's a standard method of prevention, let's, let's call it that way. So let's do it from scratch. Let's log in as admin. And now something has changed and new icon has appeared, right? Within the session manager, if you open it, please do that. On top of the list, there is an hour session and we may actually uh, watch it and join it at some point. So now please select a small black arrow here, which is a connect button. Okay, here it is. Now about interface time limit, this option is uh, disabled, but you may set out here uh, a time where the session will simply expire and, and, and the user will be logged out. The session will be terminated basically. Uh, the information button, it will reflect the same information as within the uh, portal. So it will give you uh, information about the safe, uh, the in use account, the server name and so on. Details however, it is something very cool to be honest because with uh, that particular feature you are able to see what is going on within the uh, user session so whatever he's doing clicking the mouse button for instance or maybe typing something it will be recorded here by default those actions are grayed out but you may select the proper option within the manager and it will be visible you may also share the session if, for instance, you are given a, a training to a, to a huge um, group of people, uh, you may share the session. And there are two options because initially uh, the session will be available in read-only access, right? But if you, you uncheck this, uh, this box and confirm the changes, you'll receive a new link and you can provide it to, to the group participants so they can join it and basically they can also perform changes on the screen uh, in live environment. Okay, so let's close it then. Uh, terminate, well, a simple use to terminate the session if something suspicious has appeared, for instance, or maybe a person who's currently using this, this connection is not allowed to do so. Uh, join the session, I will show you that in a moment. Now, this is our session, our main connection, right? The RDP connection. And now let's try to open uh, something basic like uh, command prompt, for instance. Okay, there's a tiny delay, uh, but still this is a live session. So, and now uh, something has appeared here also. Those are the things, those are the actions performed by the user, by me. Okay, so let's try to text something maybe first. Okay, it is showing the same way within our recording. Okay, we are using 99. Okay, let's confirm. You can see on the left hand side everything that we're texting, we're trying to type, is recorded here. Try to check something more specific like IP config. And about the um, prevention methods, uh, in a moment we will jump into the policies and how to set them up. But the first thing that I would like to share and would like to show you is that if you've been assigned with an admin role, you are also able to join that session. Okay, and now we are in that particular window. We're not using this connection. We are here. So let's say that something suspicious has appeared, right? We're just entering, checking and everything is all right then well yeah go ahead but if something uh, irregular or, or the access was corrupted maybe credentials were corrupted and you, you, you've noticed that as an administrator you may uh, perform a certain uh, type of actions here 